Hello everyone, today I'm going to cover the interactive preview, also known as Fire, inside Maxwell. I'm going to look at its general usage as well as specific settings. The fast interactive render engine, or Fire for short, was introduced in Maxwell version 2.5 and has greatly improved the efficiency of tweaking scenes to get them just right. What previously would require several test renders, sometimes taking hours, can now be achieved in moments. It's worth pointing out before beginning that in order to use the interactive preview properly, you should have a camera in your scene. This is the interactive preview window, and it's activated by this orange button labelled Fire. The interactive preview shows us a quick estimation of what the final image will look like. The point of fire is to provide feedback to changes made within scenes. For example, if I double click the juice material to open it, I can adjust the attenuation value and see the results instantly in the fire window. In the fire window itself, there is a list of which camera view to use you can preview a different camera view to the one currently being used in the viewport. But by default, Fire will use the viewport camera. But it won't use perspective. Hence the need for a camera in your scene before starting. You can also navigate around your scene in the Fire window with the same controls as the viewport. Holding down ALT and left click on the mouse will orbit around the scene. ALT, SHIFT and left click will look around with the camera saying still. And ALT, right click or the scroll wheel will zoom. If you navigate around your scene in the fire window, your camera itself will not move and you'll lose your new camera angle if you don't set the camera view by either right clicking and selecting set camera view or by going to options and selecting set camera view. Also in the options or the right click menu there is the option to isolate selection which will hide all objects except the currently selected object allowing you to view objects individually. You also have the option to save the image, which can be useful for rendering a scene in the fire window and saving it directly from fire instead of waiting for the main render engine. And finally, you have the settings or preview options. These are similar to time and sampling level in the main render engine. Fire will render continuously until it reaches either one or the other of these values. There's also a third setting called quality. Lowering this value will speed up the fire preview at the expense of image quality. Thank you for watching this overview of the Maxwell Render Interactive Preview. More Maxwell Render tutorials are on our channel. For more information about Maxwell Render training at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.